cops are going to be using mind reading technology and Colorado's the first state to pass a law protecting the privacy of your thoughts. This comes in light of the technology now being widely available for private citizens. Is it time to dust off your tinfoil cap? We'll talk about it. But first, I want you to listen to the voice of a man who lost his ability to speak nearly a decade ago. It makes people cry who have not heard me in a while. While there are non-invasive devices available, this is one of those brain chips. We all remember Neuralink, but there's a bunch of other technology that's currently being developed and used. This one works by mapping your brain while you're reading, and the little voice inside of your head gets recorded as the word you are thinking of. It is so effective at doing this that people can have normal conversations now, and you could even speak to somebody telepathically if you really wanted to. The other frightening application of this is being able to stream music directly to your brain in broadband. Okay, this one really concerns me. Have you ever just put on your headphones and someone had connected to them and suddenly you're hearing half of a conversation? Well, anything that's attached to technology is hackable. Do you really want your brain being available to the internet? That's not even where it gets weird. You can buy brain mapping technology right now for about a grand. There's also software that you can buy that gives you the ability to map and use the information that you get from your brain. You could turn it into images, you could record your dreams, you could even speak to people. I just know that it's gonna become commonplace where someone suspects their boyfriend or girlfriend of cheating, so they just pop on the brain cap and read their thoughts. However, what Colorado wanted to do was to make it illegal to sell your data. Kind of like a lot of platforms have done. This, however, provides no legal protection from the police. 